And now to another top story that we're tracking for you tonight. A trooper in the hospital while attempting to stop a suspect. It all started here near 9,000 South, 900, excuse me, 900 West, North Temple in Salt Lake City. Police say the suspect didn't stop, hit an officer's car near 72nd West and 13th South. Police were on I-80 and in the process of deploying spike strips on the road when a trooper fell from the overpass onto a road below. ABC4 Sarah Murphy is live at the Salt Lake County Metro Jail with more more information on the suspect, Sarah. Hey guys, that's right. We're here at Salt Lake County Metro Jail. Now this is where police are holding Sammy Swicky. That's the man accused of running from officers this morning. Years. I've driven from coast to coast and locally, and I've never had something like this happen. That's what semi truck driver Ryan Walsh had to say about 72nd West and I 80 in Salt Lake Wednesday morning when he pulled up and saw Utah Highway Patrol and police. They weighed me down to stop and, you know, told me that there was an incident and it's going to be a while. What he's describing happened 10 minutes before he pulled up. Troopers were in the area. Utah Highway Patrol says troopers were on the lookout for a 34 year old man on the run from police. A trooper was setting out spikes strips when he fell off the overpass onto the dirt road below. The trooper is at the hospital, serious condition. He is uh, alert and able to, to talk to the, the uh, people there with him. Meanwhile, police tracked down the man on the run, Sammy Swicky, who's had over five felony charges, some for drug use, forgery, and theft. As for 72nd West and I-80, it's calmed down since the fall. But Ryan Walsh says it's fresh in his mind. I have been a witness to a couple of fender benders, but that's the worst I've ever seen. This definitely takes the cake. He says he won't forget it anytime soon. Again, Sammy Swicky is here at Salt Lake County Metro Jail. Now, as for that UHP trooper who fell, troopers say that he's in serious condition, but they are expecting he'll make a full recovery. Reporting live here in Salt Lake, Sarah Murphy, ABC4 News. Brian and Emily, back to you.